You're not even filming, guys. Hot enough yet? Did you turn it on? Yeah. It's warm. Make sure you take those top of them and just keep them off to the side. I think I just keep them. Push it down. <laughs> so we're gonna cut some of that screw too. So then we'll go to the. Okay, because there's, there's only two left. So. Yeah, there's two more. Right on these edges in there. Can we get some made Valkyrie? Yeah. Oh, I need Valkyrie. Oh, yeah. Well, we need some Valkyrie. Alright, so this, this, this is fine. And I'll, I'll show you guys what you guys need to do here in a sec. Up there, and it didn't work. And. Just like in between those Cut this on the band, so. I'll go cut it. Do you need to cut? That whole piece off. I'll just mess around with this. So we're definitely, there's definitely some fixes that we're gonna have to do because there's. Uh, if I'm looking at this from behind, this is what my our board. Is. <laughs> so here's my front prop. That's channel one. Our channel two prop is here. Getting some ESCs ready, or is the strip ready? Sweet. Okay. Um, so now we gotta do the reds. Okay, so I'll go here. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go this way. Do you want me to go up through there then? Um, you should go around here. I'll go around this loop. All right there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll worry about organizing that later. Um, here's our quad that we've got going so far. This is our creative grant project. And, uh, like I said in the last video, we had a couple um, students doing a, a series of designs on us. We had a, a landing gear team, a chassis team, uh, a canopy team, and uh, you know, it's we, we based it a lot off the uh, TBS um, from um, Black Sheep, and uh, it's it's looking pretty good. I mean, they got it all painted. I think we got it, you know, pretty much well set up just locks right in all of its plans we have all plans for this so if something messes up we could just print it out again and so this next step that we're gonna do today is we're just gonna test it out I'll probably have um, maybe Jake you can test it out too um, just to kind of get the feel of it and see how it's flying and then we'll start working on the um, servos for the um, aid our little cylinder aid that'll go in the center of there and these landing gear can come off but we're just gonna leave them on for right now um, the other day we did just a kind of a hover test to see how long it'll last with just a 2200 and it was going about seven minutes so it was actually uh, pretty good and I think what we'll try to do too is we'll try to beef up the battery I think later and try to get longer flights out of it but we're just going to test it out today. Back in. 
all the controls are... It's too windy, just bring it down. There you go. What do you think of the movements? It's a, lot, a little bit smoother. Smoother, huh? Yeah. That's what I thought too. Like I, it's not as sensitive. Right. The cool. The nice and soft too. You want to try it one more time? Yeah. Okay. There you go, just keep right on front of us. Fight that wind a little bit. There you go, good. Now you're getting the hang of it. That's a good height. So what do you think? It's a lot smoother. It's yeah. not as touchy. Right, so the other one was like, wow, oh, wow, wow, wow. And we got some wind today too, so you're battling that. I think it's... It, it, it's not as hard as the wind. Right, like the other one just It's not like you. a kite. Right. <laughs> well, that's good. We were able to complete... Um, so once again, all we're using is the... We're using just the DX6. Um, we were using the DX5. However, when we were trying to train the kids on the old trainer, what was happening was, was that, and Jake, you can um, talk to this, even when you like barely move the controls. It's too sensitive. Way too sensitive, and we couldn't bring it down based on what the KK2 was giving us. And even if we tried to bring it down on the KK2, it would still wouldn't be perfect for us. So we were able to get it onto the DX6. And the DX6 was a lot easier for, for us to just calm down the Expos. And it, it made it a lot easier to, to work with um, this, current, this current one. And we, you know, obviously with the testing, it looks like it's, it's doing really well. And uh, I think it's going to be a platform for us. So now the next step for us would be to build the, uh, the design for the uh, trainer. And we've got a couple kids who are, are working on that. So. Um, when that comes out, then we'll actually be able to to let the kids train with it and stuff. But I think I, it's so smooth. I think you should be a, you'll be able to fly.